It is 700 years since the feral twins of mythology, Romulus and Remus, founded their city on the Palatine Hill. Two great historical figures now converge on the Forum to decide the fate of one Quintus Ligarius. A Roman knight and champion of liberty, Ligarius is accused of treason, having been in North Africa amongst supporters of Pompey as Caesar crossed the Rubicon. Julius Caesar presides as judge. So determined is he against the defendant that the sentence of condemnation is already drawn up and formally signed and sealed. Marcus Tullius Cicero begins to speak. He abandons all dispute of the facts. My speech must be addressed to your mercy, he pleads, seeking not to release from guilt, but pardon from admitted error. He faces a self-appointed judge, a judge by military conquest, whom he must vanquish by praise alone. His oration is wonderfully effective, his speech so full of pathos and eloquence that Caesar trembles with emotion and some of his papers fall from his hands. Ligarius is granted a full pardon. Raising his voice to the Roman people, Cicero declaims, O oh Caesar, there is no virtue more admirable and none more beloved than your mercy. Twelve months later, on the Ides of March, Ligarius conspires with Brutus and plunges his dagger into the Emperor's back. <laughs>